Okay. Wow. We're really here. Is this mic on? Good. Yeah, we're good. But wait. Is this mic on? Nah, we're good. <laughs> it's a pleasure to see you. Are you ready to talk to me? Yeah. I think it's time now. So, what's it like with me? Like your peace, your peace of mind. You're kind of new to me. You're like a sample size treat at the grocery store that's too good to not snatch up the box and look through the nutrition facts until you get home. Ah, you snatched me up, huh? I'm healthy enough for you? Well, yes. <laughs> let this mind be in Christ, which is also in Christ Jesus. I let go of my ingredients and my super recipe instead. We're under subjection now. That's fair. Sounds about right. So you mentioned I'm new to you. What was it like before? Sheesh. Imagine it this way. You're a NASCAR driver and you're car number one and cars two to five are parked. But you're trying to race from one to five. You were racing against you and you only. We understand now there were other things that we were fighting with. No more booze, no more go the opposite direction, no more we're a waste of time from, you know, the audience. We're good now. We're clear. No more fog. Just clarity, but just just give me a moment. Now I'm good, don't worry. I'm good now. I just needed a minute. I'm grateful to be able to talk about where we were now. We've come very far, so I'm proud of you. I agree. I'm feeling good. I'm proud of you too. You stuck with me. Okay. But let's actually discuss childhood. <laughs> well, all pump no breaks, huh? Childhood was a doozy. I barely remember anything about it. We don't talk enough about the effects of a traumatic childhood. I have only fragmented memories. I don't know exactly what you want me to say, but we can talk about it. But you know how you were. We were emotionally disturbed or angry if you would rather say, you know how that was. Okay, you're right, I understand. But talk to me about at least maybe the beginning stages of that anger that you were referring to. Like, where did that stem from? We didn't just get here. What happened? Imagine trying to manage the emotions of five, three older sisters and an older brother. So that's four before you with one mom, a mom that was sick, a mom that was tired, a mom that was fighting, but the emotions of number five was fighting too. So imagine what that looks like for you. I wasn't the same as one or two or three or four. I was five, but our parents didn't think of it that way. Our parents knew one and two, three, four, but they didn't know five. So what you're saying is you were the rejected one. They didn't pay attention to you? No, we were the rejected one. We got in trouble, mind. We acted out, we yelled, we kicked, we screamed. We screamed around the house, nobody loves me, and nobody responded, actually, I do love you. So yes, we were the rejected one. We were the one that went out and things were normal outside, but inside, it was chaos. It was chaos for us. Okay, I don't remember. I don't remember. But, so what did they do? What did they do to help us? So, we had to go to anger management and that helped for moments. We tried at home to be patient. We tried at home 
to implement what we learned. We tried to take deep breaths. We tried to communicate our emotions, but we communicated and we were talking to ourselves. We communicated and we got in more trouble because you didn't know how to communicate well. You didn't know how to process what you were feeling. You didn't know how to process what you were thinking. And so we went to anger management and it worked but for so long. Okay, I think I remember now. I think I remember that you would cry when you were there. I think I remember that even while you were there, you had no voice. I think I remember that you still knew you weren't loved and you still knew that you were rejected and you still knew that when you got home, it would be the same thing over again. I think I remember that. But what was the alternative? What, what happened or could have happened next? You and I both know, we both know that the next plan was to be sent away. The plan was a group home. The plan was a home for children that did not listen and a home for children that were emotionally disturbed and all those things. You, you know that's where we were going. But something, I guess, I don't know, something clicked and we got to stay. But remember, you were five and there were four before you. So essentially there was only four. And I can imagine how that made us feel. But I want you to break it down and talk to me about what that caused us to do. Might I conclude that the cross is my internal surgery, a settlement to the bruises you can't see, delicate to touch, tender and scarred, eyes can see the battle he's won. In all my weakness, I glory in him to tell my never ending story of my operation at Calvary. I daydream over my reflection, light bounces back at me, molded and shaped me, the potter created his likeness a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, the apple of his eye, you are made in his image.